Good evening, Warriors! Back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2 and the 1% Club. I'm going to do one this evening uh, because I want to kind of catch up a little bit and I'm getting a little bit or more organized in all my stuff I'm doing during the day. So I figured we'd catch up on a, at least one of these, maybe add a couple together as we talk about this. Hope you guys are doing well this evening. Thank you for all the comments, all of them. I'm going to move my thing a little bit here. All the comments, all the subscriptions, all the likes, all the uh, great you know things you guys are doing. I did catch up with a lot of shout outs. So I'm going to put a bunch of these on here. Also some topics that I thought was very interesting that we're going to kind of go back and cover in next as we go through my list here. But we had a couple uh, talking about... Um, don't allow other things to get you off, uh, to get you tempted and lead you to temptation. That was fresh start, so thank you for that. Diet and SR, I'm going to talk about that. Optical Man gave me a couple of different uh, questions on that. Uh, the three A's, or Aurora, uh, Attraction, and Authority. Uh, we'll kind of focus on that a little bit. The Supernatural and SR, we'll kind of focus on a question on that one. Uh, Impose, Imposer, I think it's called, not Imposer, Poozer. Internet and, and SR, we'll talk about that one. And then Herman Melville kind of gave me one about high status, women and SR. And we'll talk about that one a little bit too. So a lot of shout outs here. And I'll put those in the... Um, one of them by Carlos Rosa talking about explaining the different exercises. I'll probably end up doing one maybe hopefully this weekend. Uh, and actually going through the exercise a little bit to kind of help you guys. So we'll try to do that a little bit. Uh, but I'm glad people are getting the book, and that's wonderful. So, all right, topic for this one, my friends. So the topic for this one talks about your energy and how your energy changes with SR. So let's talk about this a little. In this one, I'm going to do a shout-out to Optical Man and Christian Thomas, who kind of both kind of had comments related to this one a little bit. So let's kind of talk about this one a little bit. So you are going to experience now i know people want to talk about this as a placebo and you know we don't really know a lot as we're getting more about this we could have some you know it could be some of your mental thoughts about the situation but i do know that my experiences that the energy level that i have now is so much greater than i had before and a lot of times what ends up happening, it's, it's because of you keeping your nutrients, you keeping your seed. Obviously, now you have to have a balance. And I know we've talked, a lot of people have mentioned that, having a balance in life, and that's important. But your energy is going to change. And that's a key type of thing. And I don't care if you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years old like, like I am at 61, you're still going to need that energy. In fact, you need it more as you get older. I always go back to the whole thing that I always like to talk about is that movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. If you haven't seen it, if you have kids, I'd watch it. But there's one episode part of this that I like, and that's the fact that you have, I think it's Willy, Willy's uh, parents are sitting in bed for like eight years, and they haven't moved, right? And so because of atrophy, they can't move. They have not used their muscles. So the trouble is, as people get older, we always kind of tell them, well, you shouldn't be, you know, should take it easy, rest. Retire is a good word. Retire is, means stop. So why in the heck would anybody retire, right? We have this notion that you get to 65, you should retire. Well, look up the word once in a while. Look at it and see that word retire. You ever get a chance to look that up? That means to stop, to, you know, to rest. Well, who the heck wants to rest, Right? Warriors, you should never rest. Warriors should always going until your last breath, my friends. This is what warriors are. This is what men should be overall. So your energy level is going to be higher and higher because you're holding on to your semen. You're not just letting it go. And I see lots of people talking about the fact that they, they're keeping their, their, uh, their retention uh, unless they're going to use it for procreation. And I think that's great. I know that, um, I think it was Levi, or someone was commenting about, you know, being in kind of a conundrum about this. That should they go ahead and, um, you know, go in monk mode when they're in their 20s and wait till they have a relationship? Uh, or should they get married and have children? I think a lot of that is going to be up to you, certainly, in making a choice about this. But remember, this is all about your energy. 
how to use your energy most wisely. And I don't care if you, and, and it's for those 99% of people out there that may not believe in retention, they're still using their energy. And they're still burning themselves out. Whether or not they're, they're up all night drinking, whether or not oh, they're all night doing whatever they're doing, they're burning themselves out. And so just from a practical standpoint, it makes more sense to sit there and, and concentrate on your studies, concentrate on your work, concentrate on your goals, and work on them all night than boozing it up or chasing women all night long. This is not what warriors do. Warriors fight battles when they have to, but they also create things, they build things, and they build communities, they build worlds. And so the leaders build that, and so your energy is needed. And so as you have more retention, as you have more self-control, as you're shifting or transmuting that energy into goals that you want to achieve, now you're expanding that outward. That energy is going outward. Now, you could have retention and keep it inwards, and you basically would go ahead and then just be playing, you know, maybe watching TV or playing video games and not transmute. You'll probably end up getting frustrated because you're not using that energy to go ahead and take the next step. What am I doing now in God's purpose to maneuver and to get into the next, next level? What am I doing to improve myself? What am I doing to increase myself? So when we're talking about expanding outward, your energy now should engulf other people. And we talk, a lot of people have been talking about how their girlfriends or women around them, they notice energy. And I can't tell you how many times I see it during the day. The response from women is unbelievable. The way they smile, the way they look, trying to get next to you, this is just phenomenal. Now, as I think as Lupe C asked me about, and I'll probably do a separate one on this, is about how do you handle flirting? Now, in my case, it's a, it's a nice flattering compliment because I never had that when I was younger. So it's nice to see all this attention, but you have to keep it in the realm. And I think one of the ones we'll talk about pretty soon is that the tempting trap that you can get yourself involved in very easily. And that's by getting this to your head a little bit and thinking, oh man, you're God's gift to women. And all of a sudden, now you're lapping this up, and that's when things can hit you. So you have to make sure that you don't fall into temptation because you're awed by this fact that all of a sudden now you're a magnet for a lot of these women. The reason you're a magnet is because you're abstaining. You're not having sex. You're transmuting that energy into something else. So recognize that, warriors, and recognize the fact that you're making that choice to do that. So don't throw that away just because someone comes and flirts with you. So it is not easy, and I can tell you that, especially if I was 25 years old and this was happening to me, this would be so hard, very difficult, because you're getting a lot of attention. But remember wisely, even if you're single, and I was single when I was like 24, 25, it was very difficult not to lose my energy. And that was very difficult. And that's why it's, I say that you need to concentrate on your goals when you're younger. Build that habit, goal setting. You're going to attract women like crazy. But the question then becomes is what is that purpose for? And that purpose should only be to find that right person and to be able to eventually settle down and procreate with that person and have children so you can kind of move the population forward, generations forward. Uh, so when Optical Man, Christian, uh, Thomas, they talk about energy, you're going to have an abundance of energy. The big question is, what do you do with that energy? And that's why when we talk about this, we're talking really about self-discipline, self-control, and getting the point in which you're going to use this energy in a positive way to not only move ahead your goals, but your goals are going to be aligned with God's goals. And so now you're going to be helping society and mankind. And you're going to go ahead and do the things that men do. Um, you know, I've seen some crazy situations, and you see, all you got to do is look at the, 
you know, the football games over the weekend and you see some real childish behavior. Uh, and I'm not sure what's happening with some of the young men nowadays, but you see some crazy behaviors of people who act like children, even in a football game, even football players. And they're, and they're crying and all kinds of nonsense. And the, the thing about it, guys, is that we're not teaching our men to be mentally tough, mentally strong. And this goes back to the old days. And yes, we could be in the old days, but parts of the old days, there were some good things. And retention is one of those things. Being tough mentally is another one of those things. And the thing about it is that you need to be tough. You need to be tough enough to be able to say, look it, I'm not going to fall for this temptation. I may be getting women flirting with me left and right. But my, my energy is strong enough that I'm going to move my energy forward and I'm going to transmute that into gaining goals, success in business, success in weightlifting and training, those type of things. This is where you become a man and you become strong enough to be able to, to, to do things like providing and protection. Heck, some of these, I wouldn't trust some of these people to be you know, guarding my house because these people are, you know, betas because they don't have that toughness. And I'm not sure when this has left us, but the society is moving in the wrong direction. This is why the MGTOW movement, this is why what our, we're doing with retention, this stuff is becoming really important because there's less and less real men out there and they're becoming more and more baby men out there and we don't need that because that's the way society has crumbled. And I could see the same thing happen in the United States that happened in the Roman Empire, happened in all these areas where men become, became half women and half men and all of a sudden they lost their ability to protect and all of a sudden they were invaded pretty easily. And you never want that to happen. And I'll tell you one thing, as a warrior, you go down fighting. As I, I've always done when I played football. If you're gonna knock me out in a football game, you gotta get the stretcher and carry me out. And the same way I look at life. And I, you know, I always remind myself of my cat that I had, 21 years old. He went out fighting until the last minute. And that's what you can do. That's all you can do as a warrior. All right, my friends, enough for tonight. We'll talk again tomorrow. Once again, God bless you guys. And remember, your energy is going to change, but you got to make sure that you use it in the right way. God bless you guys. And remember, every day is a new day to a great warrior. Battle on, my friends. Battle on!